As we approach summer, we are now transitioning out of La Nina, which actually historically affects hurricane season, making it more aggressive. So now that we are transitioning out of La Nina, what comes next? Well, we are going to be heading into a neutral phase. What La Nina is is actually cooler Pacific waters, and because of that, we get that stronger um, or I should say less shear with La Nina. And because of that, we get more of those stronger storms that develop or even hurricanes, plus above normal water temperatures. Now, as we are transitioning out of La Nina, we are heading to a uh, neutral phase. So neither El Nino or La Nina, but right in the middle here. So we are expected to continue to be in this phase through summer and then there's even above 50 percent chance that that will continue through the rest of summer and through early in the fall season but there's a little bit of uncertainty what will happen with the hurricane season now because with la nina we know that causes more hurricanes historically and el nino we actually see less hurricane activity so we have seen some forecasters already predict to have an above normal season. Now, this is just one of the forecasts that has come out. Uh, 17 named storms from Colorado State University, nine of those becoming hurricanes and four of those becoming major hurricanes, which is above the average, uh, pretty close to what it was last year. And our current water temperatures, not yet, at 80 degrees. Now, 80 degrees is that threshold for hurricane activity to start up. And of course, as we come closer to June 1st, these temperatures are expected to get above 80 degrees. So we are getting closer to hurricane season, but there's still some uncertainty what will happen in the season ahead. So we just kind of have to wait and see.